So guys, I'm going to prepare a question, question to end here. And it will be a check. So Mr. Wright, how would normally do it? We have a channel, a person, and we we'll ask a question related to stuff that you're getting done. You know? You know you have it. So see the big man here, please. Good afternoon, my viewers, friends, family. How are, how are you all that are doing? Uh, MP, tell us about that mega road project that you that, 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 that you, you break the ground. I believe earlier this year or late last year. Tell us about the project, that, that major road project. Oh, you're oh, talking you're the talking road from from Withorn to Darlington. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, that road um, is about 98% yeah, 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 yeah. now and now. Mm -hmm. um, that road was in a, in a desperate, desperate condition. And um, I used I to use my, office. my office. I lobbied, I lobbied the government. The government. To do to the road rehabilitation from Withorn to Darlistan. And uh, I was successful in that. Um, MP, I know that Central Westmoreland is a very tedious one when, when it comes because I know that you're from Westmoreland and you're, you're, you're doing your best to feed the people with prosperity. What are some of the up, upcoming projects you have now in the pipeline? Not in the pipeline, but you have now doing in the constituency? All right, so we have several roads um, to be rehabilitated, and we have um, a major project. Um, that project will last um, approximately three years, which you'll see building up a new police station headquarters right here in Lamar. and also. We have a clinic, which we will the clinic in a matter of We also have in the downtown area, Cook, Cook Street to be exact, where we are building a shade for the fisher folks and also a sanitary convenient yes, hello so we're going to signal right now what are some of the the some of the era that you put in Wi-Fi at spot? Some of the era that you put in Wi-Fi at spots. All right. So Wi-Fi hot spot, we have Wi-Fi hot spot in um Cook Street, Withorn, Shrewsbury Lagoon, and um Poppy Street in the Fruit Division. Um, yeah. um, MP, right. you, have, you, you have seen where the PNP have swept Westmoreland, where the parish council is concerned. Uh, I don't want to ask you what went down, but you think the people of Westmoreland is, 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 face, is suffering from uh, um, remembrance deficit or some deficit or something? I don't understand the, the way they voted in the local government election. Uh, to make sure, um, I, think I think some of the, of the losses, losses was on our part where the our city councillors a bit locked um, in um, their duration. And also, and also it, it, was it was not really, not really one of those, those normal elections, it was more of a bike election. election. And we, we would have seen where the other side came out in full force 
Um, in for me there, just move, move your mic while, while you empty it in, and then so get a feedback. See, and then while you have a question, then you unmute. All right. Bye. So, um, as I said, it was more like a by-election. But if you if you notice that trend though, if you check the amount of votes that showed this constituency, um, if it was a general election, if one where if it was my election. This one where you have to be way over 8,000 votes to win this constituency. And uh, even though they come in full force, they did not reach that target. Can I ask that? I hear you loud and clear, um, MP. Um, huh? I hear a load and clear in terms of your political figures a short while ago. Yes. I, hear, yes. I spoke to, you, you, you know of that one billion dollar that was signed off on the former minister of water, the one that making the trouble now in the constituency of Western Westmoreland. There's a contract signed off on that water project in his capacity as minister of water, a billion dollar. You, have you heard of that project? No, I haven't. <laughs> What is the problem down there with the water issue? And they are, um, with Ian is running around like a headless spoiled child, creating problem and mayhems and the and the private citizen life who is making a who want to make a difference where small business is concerned. What you would say to people's national party and that data from a senior member? Well, in in in, in um in my judgment, it shows desperate. Yes, 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 persons doing their personal business and he went and video and uh, you know it, it, it showed the act of desperation you know but i am uh, i would say to the jamaican people never get fooled by such you know, um, propaganda is one one such you know um, area in which the PNP are good at, and uh, you know the people now of Westmoreland need to understand uh, and uh, to know that they should not fall for propaganda. If he was a a good member of parliament. The people would not have chased him out of Lucy. You understand? And um, I'm just saying that the, the people of Westmoreland need to understand that they must vote for someone who will represent, re represent them to the fullest and someone, you know, with... Uh, integrity um this 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 candidate no has too much clothes over his head Lord and Mike, member. Question, yeah, man, I have a question, team. Greetings, member of parliament. Mike Larry here. Um, all the way from in St. Catherine. Yes, I'm always try to keep my head and my ears on the ground right across the island to hear on you know certain improvement. I heard you mention about the hot spots being implemented into some of these areas. But my question to you with these hot spots, 
is what kind of footprint you have left in these locations where you created all these hotspots. How can you mobilize these areas so that the dissemination of information coming from these areas would influence exactly what is happening in this area? That is one part of the question. So may I allow you to answer that part first? Mm -hmm. All right. So as it relates to the, you, you mean the, the with the free Wi-Fi? I mean, what kind of data store personal data store while they use the, the Wi-Fi? Think well, um, you see, this question about um, personal uh, personal data. Hello. No, 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 I wasn't really speaking much about personal data. I'm just speaking more on a broader scope as it relates to the hotspots that are being implemented in these areas. What else was added in these areas that would leave a footprint for you as the member of parliament in this area? What All else right. you had so, added? You mean apart from apart from the hotspots? Yes. Well, I know for sure that some of these areas are areas which I would have done um, road rehabilitation, and um, also we, we, I would have gone in, um, scope the area, um, see the different types of businesses that um, persons. Um, are doing in the area. Some are doing um, um, barbering, um, hairdresser, and um, you know, you give them assistance to help them to uh, strengthen their business. And um, I know that also in these areas are basic schools and private school as well where i know that these students from the various schools will benefit from the from the facility um, provided there great great exactly what i expected you to answer and and so the second part is how often do you allow somebody like, you know, Dujan to walk into you unannounced last minute and allow an interview like this so that we'll be able to connect with you even though you're all the way in, in Westmoreland? Because I've, I've always said it, it's the disconnection with sometimes we member of parliament and we counsel as them why people sometimes don't even bother get up and go vote. And what you're doing here, I have to take off my hat to you and say, heal, heal to this member of parliament for just having Dujan walking in in a few minutes to sit down with him and really do a face time with some of the people. And even though I'm not from Westmoreland, but we can always tell people from Westmoreland to, hey, when it comes down to the member of parliament, you don't have to get up and go really vote for this man. Um, and to add to it well, is to say, is to really ask the question, how, how inclined are you with setting up a social media presence as it relates to you doing FaceTime with your people down there so that you have a day, a day where you say, okay, you designate two hours on that particular day to do something like this and sit down with your people them so they can have this kind of conversation and you can disseminate their information from the horse's mouth instead of they have to wait on some other social media or the news media for some of these information, which would be very important for your constituency. Well, my be I can tell you that MP is very accessible. Um, he's, a, he's a man of the people. He's always on the ground. But we do hear we ask about the social media present. MP, I can answer. All right. So, um, as it relates to the um, social me media presence, um, I normally, you know, have um, my thing posting on Instagram or Facebook. But I know this. Um, is a start. This is a start now, which we will continue right up until the general election. Thank you for but, that, um, Member of Parliament. That's what, what we plan, that's what I expect. What we plan to do. What, what? What we plan to do today, you know, is um, after after this interview is to go around in some of the areas which 
I would have constructed uh, um, some work and uh, to highlight them. So um, as I said, this is a start and it will continue. We appreciate your time, right, Member of Parliament. Any client or person that just deal with the social media, so that's very important in this time and age. Mm -hmm. Because you see the PNP, them, mm -hmm. them are fight a dirty war, especially on social media, propaganda war. Yeah. You know, and we find there are a lot of persons, especially down here in Westmoreland, they are falling for it. Mm -hmm. We talk to them on a daily basis on the live live nights yeah. yesterday. So you need to. Just get one person at least and deal with the social media. So every day there is something that is being done. Yes. That was that would have been my third 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 thing, Dujan. To insist that him get somebody in that mm -hmm. in that capacity who understand the whole thing and this person is just responsible for that and this person is very close to you where them can handle that to take make sure that all your data is being captured all the footprint is being captured and then you instruct where or not it goes out when it goes out and the timing it goes out because you would have to full proof everything before it goes out mp and i may have to reiterate mm -hmm. that nothing goes out without your approval yeah but to capture all of the data, it's very useful because it is what is missing from all of this campaign. And we need to tell people, so when you're not campaigning, it means marketing. That's what it means, really. So if you don't have no, if you don't have no content for market, then it's going to be very difficult to campaign. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it is very useful to yeah. you know use the, the social media space the right way. And uh, we always promote that we use it the right way to make sure you capture the information about the projects them that you're doing and have all these photos and then you, you get them titled and put into a, a proper photo shot and then you, you get to load them to the social media with all the information as to what your project is about, what you're doing and all of that. People people will leave from, from, from Kingston and St. Catherine to come into your area because they're properly informed. Okay. You understand? And keep, keep your ears on the ground when it comes on to social media, because that's where everybody looks. Nobody's taking up a phone anymore, calling anywhere to find out what is going on. Everybody's going on social media. So mm -hmm. create right. a present, create a present for yourself the there MP, and let it be respectful my, so you, your people can reach you. Go ahead, Dijon. Thank you, strap the time. So we'll get classic uh, uh, a question. Yeah, man, 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 man respect. Yeah, yeah, afternoon yes. panel, afternoon MP. Um, let me just congratulate you on the good work that you have been doing, and uh, I just want to I just want to know in in terms of um, food security in schools, have you been thinking about launching a project to do like greenhouses in schools or garden back in school gardens? Well, um, I can tell you. Um, Several schools um, make the approach. They, they're really doing farming um, at uh, most of the schools here, which I do give some assistance, you know. But um, it's something that I, I, I really thought about. And uh, in fact, I spoke to one school earlier on today which they wanted to do a, a greenhouse, you know, and, um, you know, so we are in dialogue with that. But um, for other schools, they are doing farming, um, like chicken rearing, pig rearing, and, and, and stuff like that. So I'm fully engaged in that as well. So in terms of that greenhouse that you you are planning to install in that school what i'd suggest for you to do is to approach our trust mm -hmm. and make it into a project that is beyond just farming but um have it to be a greenhouse technology type of thing where people within the community can come and get training from our trust re greenhouse technology for that for that project so engage our trust in the process. Okay. Um, thanks for that um, advice there. Yeah. Suggestion. Um, um, but in 
internal. Right. You, you can talk to us a little bit about Paul and Cassie. The, the condition that you got the constituency in because we know for a fact that the PNP has been down here for a very long time and they have done nothing in our estimation. So, can you speak to us a little bit about the condition that you got the constituency? In? All right, um, <clears throat> well, so far, I, I what I can say to you is that, um, Westmoreland, the constituency of Westmoreland Central was in a deplorable condition. I cannot um, think of any form of development that would have taken place in the last um, 20 years. Um, the road, water, um, lights, and uh, creating jobs opportunity, you know, I mean, um, even as it relates to sports and and trust me um it made me work like 24 sevens now because then i have to be engaging the different agencies trying to get assistance um for the constituency i can tell you that i'm working now with jacef jacef has been helping the constituency in a very you know remarkable way which i am grateful hold on sir let's give you a second right you want your um your driver's license to transfer to the new account to number three flow flow you need the id here you suppose the knife and now 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 what do you want for the ID? Um, the current? Yeah. One well, four six eight six one five. No, they, 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 they need a the copy. Yeah, you need to copy. Okay, okay. then I'm going to send it to you. I have a number. All right, let me do that. So the question was... The Sorry condition. about that, um, viewers. Yeah, man. Um, the condition that... Um, oh, um, so as I said that... We have different agencies um, that um, pledge to give uh, um, assistance to the constituency. Um, I know NHT, we have a meeting yesterday with NHT for the development of the, the Land Island Phase 1 Housing Scheme Road and also the Petersfield Housing Scheme Road. So uh, we have a meaningful um meeting yesterday and uh, hoping to see these projects um come to tuition in a matter of weeks so as i said um i'm working with the different different agencies you know and uh, i'm getting the support that i i need as it relates to um, like the clubs, community centers. I'm in dialogue now with um, the Minister Grange um, for that community center that um, is up by Hartford. There was a community center, center up by Hartford, which we would see um, coming from that community center, we would see the, the Hartford Cultural Group which has been traveling worldwide, you know, creating a, a storm representing Jamaica. And we would love to see that Hartford cultural group starting up. Uh, most of those persons there now would be going up in age. And we, I, I am in full, I'm in dialogue with the minister and uh, I'm in support and dialogue as well with the community but we don't want to take persons just from the community we want to expand and get in people from other communities to come in and join the Hartford cultural group yes. and there are other um, areas that are des desperately in need and uh, you know as we go along you know i 
lobbied on behalf of the constituents, the people of the constituents, you know, to create jobs opportunity. There is a BPO that will be opening up in June up by the Landailo main road there. Um, I, I think it will host approximately 900 um, persons there. So um, things are really happening here in Westmoreland, but as you mentioned earlier, that we need to highlight these things and do it in a more aggressive manner because then people need to know what is happening. You know, I mean, if 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 people are not not hearing anything, they, it would appear as if there's nothing happening. But a lot of things happening for Westmoreland Central. You know, um, I I will be joining you people um very soon to let you know um of other things that are happening for westmoreland central as was mentioned earlier that i'm a bit struck for time yes but i'm very much happy to know that i can come and you know share a few moments with you people and I will definitely be back live and in living colors. Yes. Um, I mentioned about those two schemes, but I will also mention that um, I have a $40 million project. In fact, it's a road project that I will be um doing in a matter of days and so i will just name those few roads that will benefit from this 40 million dollars um the new market oval that is desta desta road um you have uh, um from the conwell mountain division you have the welcome to maxfield road and when we speak about roads, you know, I think I was told that the last person do road rehabilitation was a lady called Esme Grant. No, I don't know. If, I don't know about Esme Grant. I learn about Esme Grant. So you can tell of the time frame which those roads get any assistance. And, um, then we will be going from Hartford, no, from Williamsfield to Grange, and from Friendship to Content. So um, there's a contractor that is that will be doing the road rehabilitation. A contractor is in place, and he should be starting up in a matter of days i will be on the ground with him um ensuring that you know um the work is being done and it being done in a uh, amicable time um the government would have announced another 150 million dollars and that is a that 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 hundred and fifty million dollars um, comes from the Spark program, and I have uh, listed out several roadways that need to be rehabilitated from this one hundred and fifty million dollars. Um, I can tell you off the back of my head now. Um, Sigrid Street, Sigrid Street is one such street in the town of Savlamar that is in a dilapidated state. And this has been for years, for years. 
I'm also in dialogue with the Minister of Justice, JSIF, and NWA soliciting funds or, you know, lobbying for funding, which funding has been pledged to erect a huge drain from Bigford Street straight to Russia. We were we were on the site about two to three days ago with all these agencies scoping the area and um i will give further updates as uh, the project progress so um with all that is said there's a lot more for you people to know but i will be back on this program to give you further updates MP i want to thank you for having me MP and if there's anyone uh, is there anyone wanted to ask any other questions yes i, I have two questions from the chat one is apart from the pnp with their lies and propaganda what other challenges or major challenges do you have in your constituency? Well, the major challenges that I face is for the agency to act swiftly. Okay. I noticed that there is a delaying, I call it a delaying tactics. Delaying tactics. Because even this, these two scheme rules that I mentioned earlier, If my memory serves me right, money was granted for these schemes from way, as way back as about 2018, thereabout. But I'm in constant dialogue with NHT. Constant dialogue. But as for the municipal corporation, um, there's a new CEO and um, because some of these projects will have to go through the municipal corporation um, you know so projects will go through the different different agencies but um, sometimes uh, they, when they tell you about procurement it takes forever but I'm one such person who continue to follow up and when i don't feel satisfied i'll take it to the higher authority so right um in i don't in know words, i can i can say but you may not want to say it you are being sabotaged um <laughs> the, other, the other question is please tell us about the water program that the pm just signed off on in your parish all right, so um, the, the Prime Minister have signed off and uh, a water project that leads from the Rowan River plant to Negril. Right, and um, I think having this, this project complete, we'll see a better, um, see the people enjoying this commodity in a more suitable manner the, the because he's trying to say mr Wright, that mm -hmm. um, it is them that had that in the pipeline also they uh, it, it the, thing, the thing is that as as as, as you mentioned the pnp have everything in the pipeline but it never comes out <laughs> right but um even the road there from first to Maxfield, they, they said that they have it in the pipeline. But if my memory serves me right, it was from about in the 90s. Yes. I learned of that in the pipeline. Yes. But um, other from that, other from that, um, we will be we will be getting funding to do trucking of water and to also. Um, deliver black tanks 
Yeah. But for the projects, for the pro that that particular project, is a project that I want to see like yesterday, because uh, as you mentioned earlier, the parish now is being sabotaged because from as early as October, November from last year, we've been having water shortages right across. And I noticed that we have more trucks join water. And I, I, I might, I'm, I'm not exaggerating here, but we have more trucks drawing water now in the parish as if it is a special business a special business i wanted to say another word but i reserve that one and there's a lot of but water let me, let me ask a follow up question let me ask a follow-up question to the question that i asked and what's the estimated value of this project and well how many people will it um, impact? All right. Um, the estimated cost, I think it's about, it's about 2 billion. It's about 2 billion. And it will, I, I, I can safely say it will impact um, maybe about Eighty percent of the parish, which means, in other words, the entire Westmoreland will have water at the end of the day. Yes, yes. Sir. Yeah, great. Anyway, because we have so much. We shouldn't us. have. We shouldn't have any more water problem. You know, one other thing that I've been lobbying for, though, you know, um, which um, some of the these road that I start to do rehabilitation. I change out all those age pipe because um make no sense you do road rehabilitation and have those age pipe. And when I say age pipe, I mean those pipes that have been there for decades. Okay, that's great, MP. Um, one of the challenge. I'm not from your parish, but one of the challenge I, I I face in my parish, and maybe other other people in your parish would be facing on the off streets. May, I have a cobweb system in terms of electricity. Every person oh. on their own electricity, and I am assuming that you have that in your constituency. That I, I am suggesting that it's something you need to work on as a legacy project for you. All right, so as you speak about that, and, and that is why I said I'll have a lot more to come when, when I, um, I'm back on this, um, this program. Well, um, I continue to lobby um, on behalf of my constituency, which I, I wrote a letter to the Honorable Minister Darrell Vaz, right? And letting him know about these cobwebs and the areas that are without utility poles or um, power lines. And he flew down with JCF and JPS. And uh, some areas were earmarked, which he toured those areas and uh, make the commitment that this, this year um, we will be removing those cobwebs and putting up utility poles and power lines. And not just utility poles and power lines, but also they will be getting street lights. So, um, as it relates to, to that, yes, um, and I can name a few areas that were earmarked. Uh, we have Gullibank, we have 
um, farm pen, we have um, grotto, and, and trust me, and we have also land dial of phase five, which, you know, there are several other areas, but just to name a few areas that um, the minister tour and have a first hand look at those areas, which, um, as he promised, that JPS will be working in this area in, a, in the shortest possible time. All right, again, I can say congratulations. You're doing a wonderful job. As um, others would have said earlier, make your social media presence be more um, a, a on the point, all right? And yes. uh, tell yourself some more because if people don't hear about it and see it on the media, the mm -hmm. PNP will run with it and say you're doing nothing. And that is one of the main reasons why Dujan fly down from England and come to your office to come tell us, Alyssa, man, make sure, make the people them know where you're going with we tired, okay. we tired of PNP. PNP now have nothing for offer Westmoreland. And I am from Clarendon. I can say if there was no tourism in Westmoreland, what would, what would Westmoreland be? And you ask yourself that question. What is Westmoreland mm -hmm. without tourism? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, man. So continue doing your good work, sir. The classic. Yeah, man. The MP have to go now. Hold on. Sir. Yeah, man. Sean, come and say hi. I'm gonna ask my daughter to say hi. She I haven't seen her for over five years. Social information media, just say hi. Hello. Hi. I'm saying hi for everyone. <laughs> right. All right. That's one of my daughters. Your Canada. father. Your father is doing an excellent job. All right. And just set up a, set up some social media accounts for him. And okay. Yeah, man. He needs to have TikTok. He needs to have all of the accounts. You know them. Get somebody to do it for him. Okay. No worries. Because many the years when I jump on because... Great. Okay. Nice All to right. meet you. Nice All right. Meeting. So thanks, thanks again, viewers. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. All right. Blessings, sir. Thank you. So here we are going now, guys. I did for supposed to go up on the road with Miss Wright, but guess what? We run out of time. I may have to go to school to pick up my daughter. So we have to go do that another time. The the sightseeing. See. So big up everybody a company life. Big up for all of the likes, big up for all of the gift them. Classic big up yourself. In for me that big up yourself. Labor rights, big up on yourself. You know? Blessings Maybe sooner or later, later. Blessings. later again. Blessings, brother. Make sure some man set up your account. Them. Yeah man, I got mega talk to him about it now. Yeah man, blessings, bro. Alright, big up everybody.